In today's video, we're going to catch a bunch of mice in the barn with a brand new mouse trap. And then we're going to use those mice as bait to solve a mystery. What wild animal is stealing dirty diapers from the trash can on my back porch? And then for question and answer time, I'll read some of the most popular comments I received on my last video. So make sure you watch till the end because this is another action packed episode. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to test out a brand new bucket mouse trap. It's called the mouse bucket device for mice, rats, chipmunks, and squirrels. It's pretty ingenious. It consists of a metal plate connected to a spinning rod. Right now it's perfectly level, but when the rodent comes in there and tries to get the bait in the middle, it will step on the floor and get dunked. Now as that plate spins around, you can see a counterweight, causing the metal plate always to return to the level position. On the side of the bucket, there's two holes. That's for the ramp that's included. We'll clip those in. That way the rodent can go up there and get the bait. Now the bait is one of my favorite parts. In the middle is a piece of Velcro and that connects to a Smucker's container. It has Velcro on the bottom and sticks. Now I'm gonna peel that off. It's on there pretty good. You wanna keep it fresh, replace these as needed. Now what I found is it could throw the balance off just a little. So you might need to move it to the right or left, but in general, it works really well. Our mouse will go up the ramp, smell that peanut butter, step down, and get dunked. That will spin back and forth, but level off. One after another, we can get small rodents or large rodents, such as a rat. It's pretty fun. Now the instructions say you can fill it with water for a kill trap or put some hay for a live catch trap. I'm not sure if they can jump out, so I'm gonna try it both ways. Okay, let's see how this trap does with our pet mice. It tried to hold on, but it couldn't. Once again, it got dunked. Now this guy's hanging out. We'll put him on the peanut butter. Oop, it's like a slip and slide. We'll try one more. That is just perfect. They know it's not balanced, they're a little hesitant, but as soon as they step down, they get caught. We have a pretty good bucket of pet mice, but I'm curious what it will do on the wild mice. Let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see how many we can catch. Now first, I'm gonna test out if they can get out. So I'm not gonna add water and make it a live catch trap. So let's go see what happens. Well, last night the mouse bucket device worked really well. Even though we didn't catch the big rat, it was too smart, we caught every one of the four mice that tried to get the bait. They stepped on the plate and got dunked. And when they tried to escape, they climbed back on the plate 
It would wobble and they'd fall back down. So it will work as a live catch trap, but it might not be the most humane option. Even though we caught four mice, there's only three in there. And that's because they ate the other one. But that sometimes happens. These are native deer mice, so we're gonna take them out in the wild and let them go. And then I'm gonna fill the bucket halfway with water and take it to a different barn. And we're gonna see how many we can catch. Okay, time to be free. This party's over. This first mouse we'll name Donner. Now the second mouse is pretty big. We'll name him Lecter. And the third mouse, his name is Hannibal. Run away. Man, those mice sure do poop a lot. I'm gonna clean it out, fill the bucket half full of water, and set it up in the barn. The mouse bucket device worked really well with water in it. On the first night, only one mouse showed up, but when it tried to get the peanut butter on the plate, it stepped down and got dunked. Now on the second night, I moved it to a new location and we caught three mice, so it just keeps working. Now I don't want the four mice we caught to go to waste, so I'm gonna feed them to wild animals. Two of them I'm gonna set up in the backyard in Beaver Dam, but the other two I'm gonna use to solve a mystery. Something's taking dirty diapers out of my garbage on my back porch. So let's set up the trail cameras and use the two mice as bait to see what wild animal is stealing dirty diapers out of my garbage. Well, that was a huge surprise to me. If I was to guess, I would have thought a raccoon was getting in my garbage, but it wasn't. It was a big yellow stray cat. Every night it was coming along and taking three or four dirty diapers. It must really like them. That is so gross. But when I covered my garbage can, the cat disappeared. I haven't seen it for over a week. So if you have a garbage can outside, you need to secure the lid. Otherwise, you'll have problems with wild animals. 
Now along with those dirty diapers, the cat, the raccoon, and the skunk also enjoyed eating the mice we caught with the mouse bucket device. This is such a great mouse trap. It's perfectly balanced, it resets itself, and it's low maintenance. All you have to do is remove the mice you catch and replenish the bait as needed. Now after buying this trap, I spoke with the inventor who told me he and his dad have been building these traps for over 30 years. They're built to last. They're made out of non-corrosive material. This plate's made out of aluminum and they still even have the original one they made over three decades ago in their house. He was sitting in Denny's one morning and the waitress brought him this, the Smucker's peanut butter. He thought that was perfect. Put some Velcro on the bottom, stick it to the trap. That way you don't have to smear the peanut butter, make a big mess. If you buy a case of them, that will last you a long time. So any information on buying this trap, I'll put in the link down below. But if you have an ongoing mouse problem, this is a really good solution. Okay, for question and answer time, the number one comment I got had to do with my last video with a 3D printed mouse trap. People were curious about the lumps on the mice that we caught. Those are botfly parasites and they're really common. You don't want rodents around because they carry so many diseases that could be deadly and also parasites such as fleas, ticks, and botflies. Also in my last video, I asked for some help with viewers who have a 3D printer and I had over 100 viewers contact me. Thank you so much, all my needs are met and the traps I wanna print are being built right now. So I can't wait to show you those in future videos. Thank you so much for all the support for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking the button right here. I'm going on almost 600 videos about mouse traps and I'm posting new videos every Monday with some really exciting traps coming soon. So if you wanna see the best traps on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.